Hello good day viewers. In this tutorial we are going to find a solution to this radical equation. So if you are new here consider subscribing. Press the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever I upload a new content and don't forget to hit the like button. Alright we want to find the value or values of x that can satisfy this radical equation. The radical equation is the square root of x plus 1 then plus the square root of x plus 3 equal to the square root of 3 plus square root of 5. All right, let's get started. I know that from here I can square both sides. I can do that directly. But I don't want to do that. The reason I don't want to multiply these binomial terms together. Rather, I can switch these terms. Take this one to the right, bring the other one to the left-hand side. So I would like to bring root 5 to the left-hand side and take this root x plus 3 to the right-hand side. So we have root x plus 1. As root 5 crosses over, it becomes negative, root 5. Then to the right-hand side, we have root 3. As this crosses over, it becomes negative. So from here, we can square both sides. Square this side and square the other side. Let me expand the left hand side. You take this term and square that. It will eliminate the square root leaving x plus 1. So we have x plus 1. Then you do the same thing to the second term squared. You have plus 5. Then minus because of that minus sign. 2 multiplied by first and the second term together. So we have root 5 times root of x plus 1. You do the same thing to the right hand side. First term squared is going to give us 3 plus second term squared is x plus 3. Then minus 2 multiplied by root 3 multiplied by root of x plus 3. 1 plus 5 is 6 so we have x plus 6 minus 2 multiplied by root 5 multiplied by root x plus 1. This is equal to, we have 3 plus 3 equal to 6. We have x plus 6. Then minus 2 multiplied by root 3 multiplied by root of x plus 3. Let's perform a cancellation here. You can see that x plus 6 will cancel x plus 6 if you subtract them from both sides and also if you divide both sides by negative 2 this negative 2 will take care of this negative 2 so what do we have left we have root 5 multiplied by root of x plus 1 and this is equal to root of 3 multiplied by root of x plus 3 Again, we can square both sides from here. Square both sides. To the left hand side, you have 5 multiplied by x plus 1. To the right hand side, you have 3 multiplied by x plus 3. Because the power of 2 will eliminate all the square roots. So let's expand the left hand side. We have 5 times x is 5x plus 5 times 1 is 5. This is equal to 3 times x is 3x, and 3 times 3 is 9. Let me bring 3x to the left-hand side, so we have 5x minus 3x. This is equal to 9 minus 5. 5x minus 3x is 2x. This is equal to 9 minus 5 is 4. Finally, we divide both sides by the coefficient of x, which is 2. So we have x equal to 4 divided by 2. And lastly, x is equal to 2. And this is the solution to this equation. But wait, will x equal to 2 satisfy the original equation? That's what we need to testify. If x is equal to 2, you have under the square root, we have 2 plus 1 equal to 3. So this is root of 3. If x is 2, you have 2 plus 3 equal to 5, so the whole of this is root of 5. 
Yeah, they are exactly the same because you can see even to the right hand side we have root of 3 plus root of 5. And hence x equal to 2 is said to be the real solution for this radical equation. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning and colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye bye.